filmed at Children's Museum Houston in front of a live studio audience. Welcome to... So this isn't the high school musical prequel, preschool musical? I am your host, Jacob. Welcome to Mind Your Matter, the only game show that matters. Without any further ado, let's meet our contestants. In second place, with nine and a half points, is contestant number one, Anna Williams, a fifth grade science student from Mindelev Elementary. Hi there. Contestant number two in the lead with 10 points is Mikey Gomez, a sixth grade student from Rosalind Franklin Middle School. Happy to be here. Contestant number three is Phyllis Stein, who claims to be a super genius despite many, many, many contrary facts and evidence. It's alive! What's alive? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was just something you say. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's spin the wheel of science. Today's scientific challenge is... Mixture separation. Separate a mixture. Each contestant will be given a mixture of two or more components and given the task to separate them. Anna, open up your mystery cube and reveal your mixture. Your challenge is to separate water, rocks, and iron filings. Now on to you, Mikey. A tricky one. Your mixture is made up of sand, salt, and water. And finally, Phyllis, show us what you've got. We tried to keep it a bit simple this time since you've struggled with some harder tasks. Yours is a snack mixture called Trail Mix. It has nuts, banana chips, and raisins. We'll be right back to see how our contestants do after this message. Welcome to Wacky's Matters Mixing Emporium. We're here to make sure your mixtures get mixed properly and thoroughly. We use the finest of physical processes to combine two or more solids, liquids, and or gases. We'll even mix up solutions where one substance dissolves into another at no extra cost. And we guarantee your mixtures do not chemically combine so you can always separate them. So come on down to Wacky's Matters Mixing Emporium where we're mixing it up. Welcome back. Before we see how our contestants will meet this challenge, a reminder that while we encourage you to do scientific experiments at home, you should always have a responsible adult, not Phyllis, help you stay safe. A few minor miscalculations do not make me irresponsible. Anna, we will begin with you. No problem. I'll start by removing the iron filings using a magnet, which I've covered with a bag, to collect the filings more easily. Since I know that iron is magnetic, if I stir the magnet around, the filings should be all attracted to it. Then I just pull the magnet out and the iron filings are separated from the mixture. Next, I'll use a colander to separate the rocks from the water. The colander has holes big enough for the water to escape, but not big enough for the rocks. So when I pour the mixture through the colander, the rocks stay behind while the water continues into the bowl. And there you go! Rocks, iron filings, and water are separated out. No more mixture. Great job. That's three points for Anna, bringing her to a total of 12 and a half points. Now, on to Mikey. Mikey, are you ready to separate your mixture? Oh boy. Well, to separate the different substances or components of this mixture, I'm going to first need to mix it up even more. I want to stir the mixture until the salt dissolves into the water, creating a solution of salt water. Next, I'll use a filter to separate the sand from the salt water. The dissolved salt is too small to be caught in the filter, but the bits of sand will. Finally, to separate the salt from the water, I'll use vaporization. We'll pour the water onto this pan in a hot plate. As the water boils, it turns to steam, but the salt remains. And there you go. I separated the sand and salt from the water. Good work, but you didn't recollect the water as a liquid, so that's only two and a half points for you, Mikey, bringing you to a total of 12 and a half points. All right, on to our last contestant, Phyllis. Phyllis, are you ready to separate your mixture? It'll be the simplest thing in the world. I have brought with me a demixification tube. I will simply place the mixture inside of the tube, like so. Then, when I switch the tube on, the force of the spinning will separate out the mixture into different layers. And behold! Mm. 
that doesn't look so good, Phyllis. How could it be? The internet ad I bought it from, I mean, uh, I mean, I built it to do the exact opposite. Well, that's our show. We have two contestants tied in first, Anna and Mikey with 12 and a half points each, and Phyllis coming in last with zero points. What a surprise. Until next time, this is... Who knew a 30-minute choreographed nap time could be so <sighs> gripping? Nope.